se kuna fomu moto kama pasi you want to know more about the vasiti mission when and how it happens well we got you for Vaziti Mission 2024 Have you heard about the Vaziti Mission? What is the Vaziti Mission? Brothers and sisters, I welcome you to the Vaziti Mission 2024. First, let me tell you about the Vaziti Mission. Vaziti Mission is a mission program organized by the Moi University Christian Union aimed at reaching out to the staff, students, and the environment surrounding Moi University with the gospel of Christ. Bwana asifiwe. My name is Abraham Mathias. The Varsity Mission aims to touch the lives of students from all backgrounds, faculty members, and the communities that surround us with the power of evangelism. We also engage in corporate social responsibilities within Moi University and its vicinity including environmental stewardship and visits to prisons and children's homes. The Varsity Mission, a cherished initiative of the Christian Union, has been a beacon of hope and love for over three decades. It began as an enriched mission held every three years, igniting the flames of faith. In 1986, the first Varsity Mission led the way. Then in 1990, 1994, 1998, 2001, 2004, 2007, 2010, 2013, 2016, and most recently in 2019. We continue this incredible journey. The Varsity Mission Week will be teaming with purposeful activities, including door-to-door -door evangelism, enlightening seminars covering topics like LGBTQ+, health and wellness, career guidance, environmental stewardship, and doctrinal discussion. Join in interreligion debate, witness vibrant open air crusade, embrace the spirit of office to office outreach, take part in memorable procession, contribute to our corporate social responsibility endeavors, and experience the grand finale at our Christian concert. I'd like to start us off with our verse. Luke 12 47, which reminds us that <clears throat> and repentance and remission of sins shall be preached unto all nations beginning at Jerusalem. We know that the Great Commission is not an option to be considered but a commandment to be obeyed, and therefore we are obligated to obey this command. For truly, we are told that there is joy, there is more joy in the presence of God and His angels over one sinner who repents than over 99 who have no need of it. Do you feel weak? Do you feel inadequate? Do you feel nikama hauna content or even feel blank? Then you are exactly the right person who will partake in this because God uses men who are weak and feeble enough to lean on him and to depend and trust on his strength and on his faithfulness. We have a budget of 1.1 million shillings that will be required to fund this varsity mission. We are the major financiers of this same. And uh, just to encourage us, in the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 29, verse 3, <clears throat> we are told that David gave over and above everything that he had. Why? Because he had set his affection on the house of the Lord. Just to encourage us is that even as we are giving towards this um, varsity mission, let us know that these funds, these finances are going to be used in expanding the kingdom of God. Every shilling and every cent will be used in helping a brother and a sister somewhere who is lost in the world to come back home where God is. The language that mountains understand is the language of faith 
which is expressed through prayer. Even as we are heading towards this varsity mission, let us march forward on our knees so that heaven can stand and fight for us even as we are approaching the varsity mission. And on the same grounds of prayer, let us not be afraid to ask God for big things, for truly he tells us in Psalms that open your mouth wide and I shall feel it. Let us even ask God that may he give us even 10,000 souls, both students and even staff members, that, that, that on that period of visiting mission, they may come unto salvation. Let us dream a dream that is so big that if God does not intervene, then it will fail. Thank you. The Varsity Mission is one of the biggest platforms that the Christian Union has to create a very big and far-reaching impact uh, to all the students, uh, to the staff and all the members of the Moyo University Fraternity. It's an opportunity to share the Word of God so widely and to reach out as much as possible. Uh, for me personally, I remember with fond memories the Varsity Mission 2019 that took place uh, in March. And I was in 1.2 at the time, and uh, I can say by the grace of God, it was through that varsity mission that I actually got born again. I would consider myself to be a product of that varsity mission. I got born again a week after its conclusion, and uh, the theme was Varsity Mission 2019, To Jesus I Surrender. And when I look back at that period and how much impact it had to me as an individual, I feel really encouraged to share with us. When I look back to the Varsity Mission 2019 and how much impact it had on me as an individual and how it really blessed me and actually led to my encounter with Christ, I would like to encourage every one of us to participate actively in ensuring the success of the Varsity Mission 2024 through praying and just standing up even when the time comes. And it's my prayer that many other students just like myself will encounter the grace of God through the Varsity Mission 2024. Match your calendars and be part of something truly transformative. The Varsity Mission 2024 awaits your presence. Let's make this journey of faith and service extraordinary. Yeah.